there, it's Julie Broad with Revenue.com and I'm coming at you with another video from our Adding a Legal Suite series. If this is the first video you're watching, there's a whole bunch of videos, at least 10 or 11 to catch up on so you know what's been happening in this almost made for reality TV project that I've got going on. So this week, well first of all, I'm standing outside uh, filming this because I couldn't film it inside the property. There is painting going on everywhere in the main house. But I discovered today that the electricity wasn't on in the suite and I assumed once the second meter went in, so if you've been watching the series you know what went on with that second meter, I assumed once that second meter went in the electricity was going to be working. I didn't follow up and nobody told me that they were only working off one plug-in downstairs that the electrician had put in place for the work to get done. So today's video is all about babysitting everything. Because in the last couple of weeks I haven't done a good job of babysitting because I went to Mexico for a week and then it's been Christmas and I took a few days off and there was still work going on even though I'd taken the days off. As a result of not babysitting, things like the electricity not being on in the suite have gone unnoticed by me and unresolved. Um, some other things that have come up. I'll give you four. Four examples of why babysitting is so important. Number one, before I went to Mexico, I had clear, or what I thought were clear instructions to have the windows cleaned because there's gunk in there. The window frames apparently did get cleaned in preparation for painting. However, the window sills did not. I thought I was very clear. Somehow it didn't get done and you know the communication wasn't clear between the cleaning person and our office manager and the sills are dirty. Not the end of the world, however the, the frames have now been painted and the chemicals that need to be used to clean out this kind of gunk can be very damaging to fresh paint. So now when the cleaner goes back in to do this it's going to take extra care and attention to ensure that we don't damage the fresh paint. It'll probably cost me a few more hours of labor to do it right the second time. So not ideal and I would have caught that if I had been here and been on, on top of things. Second thing was the painting. I did a walkthrough yesterday and noticed that the uh, light fixtures were still in the bathrooms and I'm replacing all light fixtures and as part of the quote they were to remove all light fixtures and paint around them. So I've said to the painter, bathrooms are painted, looks good, but the light fixtures are still up there. And uh, he said, well, I don't remove those kind of light fixtures. So I got my carpenter in there to remove them. And it's a good I caught it now because while it's a bit of a pain for him, the painter, it was part of my quote and it was going to cause me some pain later if I didn't have exactly the right size fixture to cover up that hole. So I caught that in my walkthrough yesterday. So good I was babysitting. A third thing that came up was the drywall mudding. Another uh, challenge we've had on this project is that the mud had to dry and it's, the drywallers were behind. Uh, and apparently our drywaller, who is excellent, we've worked with him many times, he subcontracted out this mudding to a guy he's only used a few times and he was a disaster. He was such a slob. He had mud everywhere. He would lean on the windows with his mud covered hand and there'd be a handprint. Uh, he had, there was mud caked on the doors and all over the floors. Now of course the floors are going to have laminate laid and carpet laid, which they now have. And it, part of the job was that this was supposed to be cleaned up, but it wasn't. So. I was going to go in and spend part of my Saturday last weekend scraping, right? Because I needed to get ready for the carpenter to lay the laminate and the carpet people to come in and put the carpet down. But in the meantime, we called the drywall guy and let him know that we weren't happy with the state of the, of the unit. He said, I will send somebody in there on Monday to get it done. So I didn't go in on Saturday, but Monday was Christmas Eve, so I didn't follow up after the cleanup. I found out that after my carpenter went in on the 27th in the morning, and was going to lay laminate but had to spend three hours scraping mud off the floors because the cleanup guy cleaned the windows and did a little touch up here and there but didn't scrape the floors which was the big problem. Again I should have gone in but it was Christmas Eve and I had family things to do so I missed that and we now had to pay a skilled laborer for three hours of his time to do something that should have been part of our drywall quote. So not a great situation. Again not the end of the world but it does cost me more money. Finally, the kitchen. So we ordered our kitchen from Home Depot and when it arrived three or four weeks ago, we counted the boxes and we were expecting you know, a certain number of boxes and that's the number of boxes that were delivered. So yay. 
What we should have done is gone line by line to make sure that each box that we were expecting is the one that they sent. Uh, because the carpenters are here uh, right now installing the kitchen and guess what they have random cupboards that they weren't expecting and they're missing drawers and doors and pieces that they were expecting so now we have to wait until they figure it all out what's missing and what we got and another trip to Home Depot is now in order which could have been done earlier and would have made this process for them much easier considering they're doing me a favor by working hard on the weekend to try and get our project back up onto the right timeline. Babysitting, a very, very important part of your job overseeing a renovation project. And I don't think it's a job you can delegate very easily unless whoever you're delegating it to understands everything you're trying to do and is there every single day which is what I'll be doing from now to completion is going there every single day that something is getting done to make sure that there aren't other little things getting missed along the way. Uh, because I, it has cost me a few hundred dollars um, in mistakes and missed things and, uh, and definitely gonna take a little bit more of my time and everyone else's time to resolve the little things that I, I should have been watching for. Hopefully that helps you in your project save time and money and uh, gonna have lots more videos for you because we still have about a month left before we get this uh, property rented and I'll be showing you what's going on until we start showing it. So we'll see you next time.